this. Here's what I'll do. Mm. I gotta get my camera set up because I don't want to. I don't want to be like, oh, let me. Because I manually set all my settings. You know what I mean? So this is how I'd be doing a drive by, but you know what I mean? I like you would be driving the car and then I would shoot it. But that's what you gotta look. When people want to say, what do you love about St. Louis? That's what I love about St. Louis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pull up, and I might I might get out, or I might not. Some part of me knows that, like, if I look at, like, what I look like, shoot that, and I get out and I make a big deal out of it, they'll probably be like, what the hell, is that the DEA or something? Like, what is some white girl that looks like that? getting out of her car to shoot my car. I began taking photos with my father's camera in school. I was a junior at Five Bond University and I was taking a photography class. And when my father passed away, I was given his Leica camera and it was a film camera. It had like a collapsible lens and I started taking pictures with film and I did film photography for like 32 years. And that's how I started. My dad was a photographer and he had the dark room in the basement and he used to take pictures of us as kids and that's, you know, my father passed away when I was 15 years old and I was raised by my mother and when I was 15 years old I got his camera so that's how I started becoming, you know. So I'm gonna whip around here and I'm gonna come back. But there's a guy that I know that shoots cars in his neighborhood and they're fantastic because I love cars. I love old school cars, but that car just couldn't pass that up. <clears throat> yeah, whipping a lot of U-turns and shit in the ghetto. That's when people start playing to whipping U-turns and driving slow. That's when people start playing. My friend introduced me to Rick Gould, and I started um, being his, I was his assistant for like a year, and he gave me the keys to his studio, and when he would go home at night, I would just stay in his dark room, developing his pictures, and I would use his lighting equipment, I would take pictures of my friends, just like you guys are doing. You know, I just kept doing it. My first job was, I worked for Vince Shamel in the mayor's office, and I ran around and took pictures. And so um, that's that. I took pictures, and I feel like this is so boring. I can't. <laughs> you need to get this on the soundtrack. Are you getting the sound? This is the The sound, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Looking in the mirror is cool. Yeah, I was going to come in here and ask you for a haircut <laughs> and just do like a fake, for the documentary, like a fake haircut. No doubt, I got you. For the performance, right? Okay, here, yeah, do that again, Royce. I, have to I went to an arts and education dinner. It's every January, and what they do is they have the top artisans, teachers, uh, philanthropists come on a Monday in January once a year, and they give out awards to people like Chuck Berry, just very notable St. Louisans. And so I, I thought it was nice to see a kid that, you know, is 16 years old, looks like he comes from North St. Louis, and he's playing Beethoven, and he's playing it as good as anybody in the symphony. Like, I can spot talent, and I was at the after party, and I said, hey, you know, if you want, I'll take your pictures free. We can just hang out and do a photo shoot. And that's what, when I invited you to a shoot with Royce and I, I had already shot him one time. He called me, and I met him after school, and we just went over there by, um, the Contemporary Art Museum and I shot pictures of him standing outside the church. So the second time I shot him was when I, when I shot him for um, this documentary. I wish that all that stuff wasn't there, but it is kind of cool that the Catholic Church wasn't there. So maybe I could just go and search. You know how like the keyboards make like a, a square? Because otherwise it's just all dark. So. Jake Torchin called me um, actually this past weekend and he said, I don't know if you know this, but I'm getting married to a girl from St. Louis. They had a tragedy in the family and the 
individual that died was a pianist and he had looked on Google for the hardest Beethoven song that could ever be played ever. And he was thinking, how can I have this song played at uh, my fiance's um, family member's funeral? And what happened was they were, he was, Jake Torchin was looking on my Instagram feed and he saw that picture of Royce with the three pianos around. And he said that he um, thought of Royce from looking at the Instagram feeds. metal and they're solid and they're strong. And that's what I like about them. People are always like, what's with the big satellite dish? Like, why do you have a satellite dish? Because you don't know anything about this, you know? My stuff could look like it fell off of the back of a truck. Um, I won't get that. But that's the thing. Back in the day, Stuff was made of metal, and they made it so that it would last for a really long time. So, the one thing that makes it nice about your generation is that when I took pictures for a long time, until you developed the film, you didn't know what it looked like. Nowadays, you could just look at the back of your camera. Like, not a lot of people know this about me, but I have a very strong faith in God. If it wasn't for God, I don't know where I'd be. And I know it sounds like something you've heard before, but it's, it's something that you have to live out. And if you know, by the grace of Almighty God, what you're supposed to be doing, then God will help you along the way. And I feel like I've had a lot of help along the way because I didn't even know how to use a digital camera. I was sitting here crying, and I seriously sat in the back of a church I would go to church for five hours a day and I would cry because I didn't know how to use my camera. I did not know how to use my computer and I would get mad like some 90 year old woman. I'm like, I actually was gonna quit photography. I got some paperwork and was gonna be a substitute teacher and I started like cooking. And I thought I'm just gonna be a substitute teacher then because I'm not gonna stop doing film photography and do digital photography. I was like mad. And I'm like, I'm not switching to digital. You know, I'm just going to be back here with my film photography because I did that my whole life. I'm like, I'm cool. I'm not switching. Bye. But after my boyfriend died and my sister took her life, I actually had a come to Jesus moment where it's like, wow, I made $9,000 last year. How in the hell am I going to survive on $9,000? I was actually down here crying, couldn't pay the rent, and was sad, and I swear to you, that year I used to sit in church and pray. And um, there was a lot of early digital work that I did that really wasn't any good, but because of my reputation, you know, people thought it was really good. And I think that my old digital photography work really sucked. But I do feel like I want to get closer, but I don't want to like, I don't know. I feel like it's totally like random, like what the hell are those white people doing taking pictures of my car? I don't have a wide angle lens. A big piece of advice that I'd have to give younger people is because I never left my hometown and because I've always loved my hometown, I've never cut my hometown down. I've always been pro St. Louis. I love St. Louis. I love the people. I love St. Louis. I've always loved it and I've always been cool and nice to people about it. That's the biggest thing is when you're an artist and you're acting like, oh, I don't really like it here. I'm moving. It's like, go ahead. You're just messing yourself up because I have a lot of people that have worked for me and they move to California, bomb out, and then they sneak back home and they hide for two years. And then eventually they'll resurface, but I never did that. 
So from when I was in high school, I was always nice people. I love my hometown. I've always done favors, taken pictures. And all those same people still hire me to this day if I haven't pissed them off.